Hello everyone and welcome back to acting. This week what we are going to do is focus on substitution. And substitution is an incredible tool that you can use to help you understand your character situation, especially in instances where you have no real connection with what they're going through. Substitution allows you a way to connect an experience you do have with the experience of the character and it's going to help you create a bridge. Now it may not be a strong bridge, but it's at least a bridge for you to cross and help build a foundation on so that you can create a world, a rich life and rich world for your character. But how do you do that? Well, we're going to go over that. So let's get started. Have you ever been cast in a role and you were playing a character that was so completely different from yourself that you had trouble connecting? This is where you would use substitution. Let's say, for instance, you are playing a serial killer. Well, hopefully, you won't go out and start killing people. Here's Johnny. That's not a healthy way to live, and it's something that you shouldn't be doing. But you still have to give this character life, but you don't understand what it feels like to go and kill somebody, and we hope you never do. Thank you, Clary. Thank you. Well, what we're going to use is the tool substitution. And what substitution is going to do is it's going to try to make us look through our own life experience and see if we can find something that we have experienced that we can substitute for that experience we're trying to connect to with a character. So we're going to take that same scenario. I'm playing a serial killer who kills people, but I've never done that. Well, what I do know is if I look in my own life, what are things that I have killed? Well, I know what it feels like to kill a fly. And when I killed a fly, I really enjoyed the feeling of killing that fly. In fact, I've even stalked a fly before. A fly has been bothering me, so I grabbed a fly swatter and I hunted it down and I waited and I stalked my prey. And then I set a trap, I killed it. Nice. nice. <laughs> and I felt the, in, the enjoyment of killing something. So I do know what it feels like to kill something and enjoy it, even if it's not a person. But the experience, right? There are a lot of things that I can build off of with that experience. So what I'm going to do as a, a bridge and that's really what substitution is. Substitution is a bridge that I'm trying to construct from my experiences to my character's experiences. And those that that bridge is going to help me give something to build on. Do I stop with that substitution? No, right? Because killing a human, I'm sure, is not like killing a fly, but it's at least a common experience that I have. So what I'm going to do is substitute that experience in my head for the first few times that I'm running that scene. And then I'm going to allow those feelings, that impulse to help me construct the life of, okay, if I looked at human beings the way I look at flies, and if I were going to do that, how would I set these traps? How would I hurt them? And then I'm looking at the script and through the given circumstances, and I'm using that as a basis to build things. Now, this is going to happen with all of the difficult characters that you play, whether you're playing a drug addict. Or whether you're playing somebody who hurts or abuses children. or something like that. You don't go and do those things, but what you try to do is find similar situations or instances that you can possibly substitute to help give you an understanding of how to treat that situation. That's one way of using substitution, and that's the most common way that you're probably going to use it in the beginning. So your first exercise, what you're going to be doing is I'm going to give you a scenario and you and one other classmate are going to improv a scene. And the, the scene is going to be either you're going on a date or you have to fire the person who's coming into the room. That's your scenario. But what we're going to do is substitute the experience. I want you to still do that scene, 
But what I want you to do is you're going to pick from one of the following options. Either, let's say you have to fire somebody, but you're worried that they are a vampire. Well, how do you treat that scenario? There's something inside her. Shut your mouth. She's coming. What were you guys talking about? Just how much we loved you. Let's say you got to go on a date with somebody, but you're worried that they might be a vampire. How do you treat that scenario? And I never drink wine. Let's say you need to fire somebody, but you've suddenly become aware of how smelly your body odor is. Well, how do you treat that situation? What happens if you go on a date and that happens? Now, how do you treat either of those situations if you're substituting the same experience you feel when you're going to Disneyland? Yay! What these situations are designed to do is to help unlock and open up a scene. Usually when you read a scene, you see it going one way in your head, but substitution can help you unlock and connect with a character, but it can also help you unlock and change a scene. It can change the dynamics of that scene. So what we wanna do is practice just that, and we wanna do it through having fun and creative play with you and another person. So your first assignment is going to be improving a scene, either going on a date or you have to fire someone at a job and you have to pick, each of you are gonna pick a different scenario, one of these other things to, sub to substitute your experience with and you're gonna run your scene. You're still on a date or you're still having to fire the person but you have to treat it as though it were one of these other scenarios, okay. I can't wait to see what you guys do and what you're gonna do after it. Once you've improv, then we're gonna talk about it and I want you to upload your experience. So I want you to tell us what your full experience was like. How did it open up the scene to you? What changed? And once you've done that, then we can all hopefully learn from each other's experiences. All right, everyone. I can't wait to hear about what this was like for you and I'll see you soon.